How do you trick yourself into practicing more? What's up guys, I'm Justin Greenwald, and today I wanna to show you something that is very, very simple, but will get you to the next level of drumming. It has for me. So that simple thing is put out drum covers on Facebook or YouTube. There is a very, very simple reason why this makes you a better drummer. When you're sharing these drum covers to Facebook or YouTube, your friends and family are going to see this. If you make a video one day, and then next week you release another video, if that new video is worse than your first video, you're backsliding, it doesn't look good to your friends. You gotta, you know, you're, you're trying to impress them. It's not a pride thing, it's just that you, your work is out there and you wanna make sure it's getting better and better. It forces you to improve your drumming. You realize, oh, I can't use that same fill. I've already used it in three videos. I gotta find a new fill. Or you realize, oh, I gotta choose um, more complex songs. Um, these, little, these other songs that we're doing are starting to get boring. They have the same beat. Or since you're probably an electronic drummer like me, I string together multiple kits in one drum cover. Uh, especially if it's like a dubstep type thing because you can string together so many different kits with so many different sounds. And the whole point of this is that you'll find yourself practicing, practicing, practicing for these songs, trying to get yourself to the higher level of drumming. I'll find myself sweating over a drum cover, trying to get it to perfection before I hit record or just recording over and over again, trying to get the perfect take. If you're competitive at all, you'll tell yourself, this has got to be better than the last one. It's pretty much tricking yourself into practicing because I know a lot of us hate practicing. Rudiments are foundational to a lot of drumming. At least it was for me. I know there are some guys that didn't need to learn that, but I needed to. I've transitioned to just mainly practicing real world drumming and uh, doing drum covers has actually helped me become a better drummer. You got to use different beats. You probably have to invent new fills because you can't use them over and over again. So that's really, really helpful. Now, a couple of tips if you are going to be releasing drum covers. Number one is that as of right now at the making this video, if you try to post a drum cover on Facebook video, Facebook will pull it because of copyright infringement. I just upload it to Dropbox and I get the link to the video and I post it to my Facebook um, page. That's the way to get around the copyright stuff on Facebook. With YouTube, you can post uh, drum covers on YouTube, but you cannot monetize them because they are copyrighted material. They are being monetized and the money from the monetization is going to the artist who wrote the song that you're doing the drum cover to. So you're actually helping out the artist or at least the record label when you're doing a drum cover because ads are on your channel. Go check out my Facebook page, 65 Drums. I have drum covers on there. I release them, I don't know, once a month or something. And I also have drum memes on there, behind the scenes stuff, and channel updates when I've got new videos coming out. Go subscribe, I've got tons of other videos like this, and see you guys in the next video.